Hello everybody, this is Bine with our channel, Family Travel Africa, and we just got back from Kenya about two weeks ago. This recipe is from Chef Douglas, whom we met at Sarova Hotels in Masai Mara, where we did the safaris. For our ingredients, we have three cups of flour, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, um, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, a half cup of fine white cornmeal, and we have ghee just for the rolling and the frying. And so the flour you have in there, Bini, that's all-purpose flour? Yes. Awesome. And obviously we will need our rolling pin. So, I suppose we get started. Okay. So we have three cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to add a half cup of that white cornmeal. Yes. And okay. the white cornmeal is very, very fine. That's, that's, yeah. So it can be nice and smooth and not pebbly. Yes. And then we'll put our um, sugar. sugar. So you told us it was a tablespoon. So grab your tablespoon. So just turn that in there. Perfect. And then we'll have our salt. Salt. Which is two so teaspoons. So two teaspoons of salt. And two teaspoons of salt gives you about 10 cc's um, while your tablespoon of sugar is about 15 cc's. So Bine, go ahead and put that in there. Great. And then put another teaspoon yeah that's good that's good yeah okay and now <coughs> we will put our oil in there we two have two tablespoons. tablespoons perfect and the idea is to add some warm water um, but first we're going to go over to our mixer yes. it's going to help us do some kneading and then we'll use our hands later mix yep that's what we're going to do so Bine, we're here at the mixer, which we're gonna to use to knead. And um, you saw us add all our ingredients. Let's go ahead and put that one cup of warm water. And you're gonna get your bowl up and we'll start kneading our, mixing our dough. There we go, I did it the wrong way. You're fine, let's get it what on. What number? Me. Let's put it on two and see how that looks, but we'll have to go faster. consistency and in total we will have three cups of uh, three and a half cups of uh, flour and a half cup of cornmeal perfect all right so is it printable already i think it is okay two yep <laughs> out of the mixture and now I'm going to knead it with my hands. It's a little bit still sticky so I'm going to add some flour. Okay so we can expect to knead this for maybe another 10 to 15 minutes Bine. Yes. We All right. Knead it on our top. Well I would start in your the bowl, bowl. Okay. and once you've added enough flour and it is not as sticky then we will flour our um, surface here. A clean surface and uh, keep going from there. Wow, 
One way to tell if your dough is ready is if you poke it and it rises up back up. So let's see you do that. Yeah. Just a little bit. So let's see. Give it a. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Coming right back up. So yeah, so just if you feel it, you see it's really pliable. Um, you poke it, it comes right back up. I like it. I think we're ready. Yeah. So how are we going to approach this uh, rolling process? We've seen quite a few techniques. Yes. But I think we're going to use a technique um, we did see on YouTube. Um, and I'm going to give credit to Just Nash. She's on Instagram as well. And um, let's let's try let's try a combination of what he suggested and see how that goes. So, get your dough ball into a ball, and then we're gonna roll it out into that long kind of a long pin. Then we will um, carve it. Yep, portion it, and then use his technique to prep it and let it rest before it goes in our pan. Okay. So it looks like we can get six per, which gives us 12 chapatis. So we've been cutting away and we just have a couple more to go. It's nice when you can use a butter knife. Safer too. So now, Bine, you're going to take each of those and we're going to roll them out into as much as we can a circular disc. Mm -hmm. And then we will go over our special technique. Okay, I'm going to start to roll my one of the little cuts. Discs. Mm -hmm. Yes, cuts. Disc. Yep. And you go like this. We're just trying to roll it out. We kind of want it nice and thin, right? Yes. Much fun in the kitchen. One more go. No, hold by the handles. Yeah, you don't want to roll your fingers out. Good job. Good Perfect. Job. All right. Yeah. That's for me. Just for you? That's your chapati? For our chapatis, they're going to be nice and flaky and layered. So, and they're going to be very moist and soft because we put we're going to put the ghee and, and spread it around and that will make it moist and the way we're going to roll it will keep the moisture inside so let's get started so you're going to show us how to get that your ghee all over mm -hmm. nice pretty uniform lots of ghee that, that looks good Kind of like it with a rose petal. Yeah. You know, it's in a cone kind of shape. Okay. 
And obviously practice makes perfect. So this is pretty good for one of your first ones, Bine. So I'm going to start, I'm going to tuck, tuck in that in. Both, ends, both sides. Yeah, and then you'll tuck in the other side. Yes. I think that's good. And um, once you tuck all of that in, you end up with this. Yes, the big circle, like um, a dumpling. And then it's time to smush. Yeah. And then you Same put that to the here. side. Let's make some more. We're going to make some more. I think I'm going to join you for one of these. Yeah. Me too. So I'm going to try one and then I will let you two keep going because I'm going to start on the lamb stew that we're going to be eating this Yum. with. Yeah, you're going to get a chance. You're definitely going to get a chance. So no one's leaving you out of this. This is too fun. So, Bine, you know how I am about messes, right? <laughs> is there a way we could avoid some mess around here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys, I'm trusting you to finish these. But while you're doing it, let's try to be less messy. Guess what? I love it. Yeah, I love butter. Gee. You put it real close to this. It's like I love butter, but can you see the butter? Yeah. And you know what? You could have used your hands, but I think we should stick with I know, I know you. If I say use your hands, the whole thing is gonna go wild. So I'm actually gonna do a cut right here. And we're gonna see how this shapes out. Around. Around. It's like it's not it's like a tulip. Yeah. Oh a tulip, that's a good thought. And then now I'm doing my poke on this end. I poke on that end. So now that I'm all poked up, I'm going to do my squish. And there we have it. So we're going to leave it over to the side here. And you girls keep going. So Bine, um, you did a good job rolling all those up and we actually covered it with a tea towel. Let it rest for how long? How long did you About let those rest for? So that's what they look like under there. Nice. So it was about 10 minutes. And now we're gonna roll out and fry up our chapatis. Turn over. Perfect. And we're just going to roll them out and fry them up one at a time so people see our technique. Our viewers can see how you do that. It's already looking layered because of the way we did it. Yeah, I like it. I like it already. Chef Douglas will be happy with this. All right, so let's move over to our pan. Yeah. Stovetop time.
perfect. Sabine, you have flour all over your t-shirt. However, um, the chapatis look really good. And um, if you would go ahead and sample one and show us uh, the flakiness we were anticipating. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. The baby wants some. I hear him. You want some? Yeah. Yummy. So. This is so good. Yeah. I can't wait to have it with our beef stew. Well, lamb stew. Um, I'm going to just rip apart. Nice and warm. See how flaky that is? Yeah, it's so layered. I love it. I love it. Tastes really good too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Wrap you it up. Oh. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like it, please subscribe and share. And we will see you next time on Family Travel Africa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I see someone there stuffing his face with chapati. Tata. All right. Thank you, Bine. Voila. Yum. Bamba. I hope you like my reel. That's you do. Subscribe.